jokingly, I would be like, they're probably looking at my application right now and they're thinking to themselves, this is a bad bitch. Like she's intelligent. She's got things going for her. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's your favorite YouTuber, the spiritual bad bitch. <laughs> My name is Anila Sita. The channel is Anila Sita 101. Today we're going to be talking about how to manifest a university, how to manifest acceptance into university. I'm going to be completely honest with you and completely real. I am a college dropout. I actually did not complete my degree at the university I was accepted to. But regardless, I manifested the acceptance into my dream university. When I finished high school, I took a gap year and after high school, I actually wasn't accepted by my dream university. I didn't really know about the law of attraction and manifesting, so I didn't use that to get into a school. But as soon as I knew about it, I used my knowledge and my spiritual powers, you know what I'm saying, to manifest acceptance into my dream school. First off, I just wanna say, you can totally do this, okay? I believe in you, you should believe in yourself. Stop making excuses for why this shouldn't happen to you and why you don't deserve it because bitch, you fucking deserve it. You get to go where you wanna go. And I'll just give you like some advice and pointers about this whole situation and like everything I've learned from it because it was a ride, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be honest with you. I applied to several universities and I was rejected by some of the ones that I wanted to go to but I had like my top three and they were all let's say on the same level so to me in my head I was like if I get accepted to one of these three I'm gonna be happy with my life. I was studying in a college in New York at the time and I really didn't like it it wasn't my dream school again like I was saying the first few universities I applied to even if I got accepted or rejected, I didn't know about manifesting. So I just chose a random school in New York that I thought could be good for me. But when I was there, I actually ended up going into a depression and not liking it. So after one semester at that school, I decided I'm gonna work my ass off in the second semester and I'm gonna try to transfer to a better school in the States or I'm gonna try to apply to schools in Europe. So it was February when I suddenly had this shift and it was February, which means deadlines to apply to certain universities, they're kind of different everywhere, but most of the time it's December or January. February is like the rare case. So I already didn't really have good chances at getting into a school because I was late and I'd had this sudden realization too late that I wanna get into a different school. But I didn't let that stop me. I really believed, and you know, if you watch my videos, a lot of my stuff is about things happening and me manifesting things that are almost like a miracle. You know, like you don't think it's gonna happen, like the odds are against you, but regardless, it happens. So my dream schools were USC, University of Southern California in LA, and King's College, in London and UCL in London. So two of those were in London and you know, when I started speaking to schools in Europe while I was in America, they were telling me that the stuff that I'd been studying in America, those credits couldn't be transferred to a new school. So they told me I had to restart the whole thing again basically and do a whole application as if I was just freshly graduating from high school so you see i'm telling you these things because i want you to know that the odds were really against me and it wasn't looking good on my part it wasn't looking like i was gonna get what i want in the end you know me i'd be the spiritual bad bitch that just believes in herself and know it's gonna happen i had trust you know i called ucl i called king's college and was like do you guys still have a spot in the psychology programs they were like Mm -mm. And then I asked if they had space in the philosophy programs and they were like, yes, we do, but very limited. You would be very lucky basically if you got in. You know, most people I think would have just left it at that point, but I just believed in myself. I applied regardless with USC, which is in LA in America. I actually was on time when it came to my application. I wasn't late. 
but it is quite difficult to get into USC so I kind of had that in mind. So I did all of my applications, I worked my ass off that semester to get good grades and summer comes around and my first rejection letter came in, I got rejected by USC. It wasn't meant to be. Then I'm in summer and I'm just having the time of my life and all of a sudden I get an acceptance letter from King's College. And I actually was also rejected by UCL, so the only school that I was accepted to was King's College. Which to me in my head was like, oh my god, like we did this, we did this, I applied late and we still did this. So, I'm gonna tell you what it is that I did to manifest this acceptance, okay? First step is you really gotta believe that it's possible. I hope that my story inspires you and makes you realize that it is possible, makes you believe in yourself. Because if I, as somebody who was applying late to a program in a really good school in London, so those who are in the UK will know King's College is actually a good school. Like, say whatever you want about it. The fact that I got in there, like, I'm still so proud of myself to this day that I did that even though I ended up dropping out, still I did that, you know? And it's it's like a story now that I'm able to share for other people who are struggling with how to get in and manifesting their acceptance. So what did I do? I worked my ass off on my application. That is one thing that I can say like with manifesting, I think some people think that you can just wish for something to happen and it just happens and that's not the truth. Like there is some work involved. For me personally, I think that work doesn't really feel like work when it's fueled with inspiration and with positivity. So obviously when you're applying, sorry if what I'm saying sounds like completely weird and crazy and I'm not making any sense. What I mean is that for every university, you're gonna have to write some kind of essay. You know, in the UK, it's your personal statement. In America, it's the Common App. And there's an essay involved, right? So I just made sure that the essay that I wrote was completely aligned with who I was and the things that I'd learned. And I tried to make myself stand out by telling myself things like I stand out. So the things that you say to yourself, the way that you think about yourself, the way that you talk about yourself has a very big influence on how things are gonna go in your life. So I would always talk about myself in a positive way and be like, yeah, I do stand out. And when I was manifesting this acceptance, I would be on the phone with my mother and jokingly, I would be like, oh, they're probably looking at my application right now and they're thinking to themselves, this is a bad bitch, like she's intelligent, she's got things going for her. I would talk about myself in that way where I would literally visualize the administration people looking at my application and thinking to themselves, wow, we want this girl to visit our school. We want this girl to be part of our program. We want her at our school. Like I would say these things to myself. I would jokingly say it to people. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's one way that I was manifesting it. So you know when you see certain manifestation techniques all over TikTok, all over YouTube, something that I will always preach on my channel is that it doesn't matter what technique you use as long as you are filled with good emotion, with joy. Joy is the key ingredient when it comes to manifesting. That is one thing I did. I would joke about it with people and I would say certain things out loud all the time to speak it into existence. Another thing I did, this is like my favorite way to manifest and for those of you who have me from TikTok, you will know this. I have a gratitude journal. If you need to know how I do this exercise, I have a video on my channel called the five minute exercise that changed my life and I have manifested pretty much everything in my life with that because it's very simple, it's very fun and it just makes you feel good every day. The gratitude journal has partially on one page the things that you already have in your life that you're grateful for and on the other page it has things that you don't have yet. So obviously university acceptance is something you don't have yet. So I would write it down in ways like thank you for my acceptance into King's College thank you for their acceptance letter, thank you for, I would write different things that are aligning with that experience. Like, and you know what's crazy? I did not do any 369 method. I did not do anything like that. I will say the 369 method is powerful and that one probably works as well. I've manifested job acceptance with this. So there's loads of different manifestation techniques you can use, but to be honest, I didn't even go that fancy with the techniques. I just really aligned myself with the belief that I'm going to get into that school. And as I was saying in the beginning, I was rejected by two schools that were also on my thing. So here's kind of where my advice comes in. 
I highly recommend you don't just apply to one school. Everyone is gonna be different and maybe for your situation you could only apply to one school and it's gonna be fine for you. I feel like it all depends on what you believe in. But for me personally, you know what I learned from this whole experience is you can sometimes want to manifest something that you don't even know if it's right for you, okay? We often assume something is right for us because we are caught up in a fantasy of what it is that we want when we don't even know it. I mean, look at me right now. I dropped out because I didn't like it. I didn't like university as a whole. This is something I've learned too, like you can really, really badly want to get into a school because you're caught up with the status of the school and the idea of going there and just the way that it looks as a whole. That's not a good reason to want to go to a school. You should want to go to a school because you like their spirit, because you like the location, because you like faculty members, you know what I'm saying? Like, do your research properly, because I didn't. I didn't do my research, I just was caught up with the status of it. I thought to myself, well, you know, my favorite rapper, Saweetie, she went to USC, so I thought to myself, well, if I get to USC, I'm gonna be like Saweetie. And then I realized, I'm not like Saweetie, I am who I am, and that's perfectly fine, so please don't get so caught up in trying to get into a school just because of the status or what it looks like. Research your stuff and allow the universe to do its thing because like. Like, manifestation is powerful and you can get into the school you want with it but I also feel that there's certain things that are outside of our control and acceptance unfortunately is one of them the only thing that you can do is to be positive about like manifesting it to be positive about acceptance to speak it into existence to do what you can to try to get into a school but not be completely attached to it like your whole joy depends on that like if you wouldn't get in your life would just be destroyed and you would go into a depression that's probably not the best way to go about it so i think that's all i will say about this i really hope that this was useful to you and you know inspires you and makes you realize like yeah i can get into my dream school and i'm gonna manifest it beach just continue to believe continue to be positive and know that you are going to end up at the right place okay that is something i can guarantee you regardless of where you're at right now you're going to end up at the right place there's nothing to worry about so anyways that's all i got to say for today thank you